Breaking news. Namdi Kano's health condition. UK government sent delegates to Nigerian DSS custody as President Muhammad Buhari under pressure to release the IPOB leader, Mazin Namdi Kano, immediately. Namdi Kano's American lawyer, Bruce Femme, reviews. Well, this is a great move anyway, but just that I don't trust these people. <laughs> I don't trust them. I, I don't just want to trust them until I see their action in full force. Because they are part of our problem too. All these human rights violations against Nigerian citizens by this Nigerian government, they do nothing about it and all that. They say nothing about it. So until I see action... Mm-hmm. I'm going to say they're serious. You understand? But as far as this matter is concerned, I feel that they themselves are enjoying what is going on in Nigeria. Starting from bandits killing, the, the full and herdsmen killing. When I don't hear what they don't do or talk, Nigerian army in Southeast killing individuals, Nigerian citizens there. You understand? Southeasterners burning their homes. We've not heard any of them talk about these things. You get. But when then they talk about election, they don't just they come, they talk, they put. And all these things are happening. You 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 will not see them say anything. So I just feel that maybe they're enjoying what is going on. But let it be that with this very one, President Muhammad Buhari will at once release Mazin Namdekanu immediately. Because according to his lawyer, they said Namdekanu needs urgent surgical uh, procedure after severe torture from Nigerian secret police, DSS operatives. Now, lawyer AJ Fona, he talked that one self today. AJ Fona noted that Kanu need an urgent advanced medical treatment and surgical operation in his ear. You know, say, since they don't they talk about his heart, they see get one valve when they heart now when don't destroy. They won't still do that surgery. And the uh, Nigerian government never even agree release them. Not to talk of say, you don't approve himself, make you go do all these things. So that is just it. You know, the Kano is really sick, but the government is denying it. They are denying Kano is not sick. But those, his family members, his lawyers will go there. They are the one coming out to tell us, his situation, but the government continue to deny about it. The DSS said the other day that Kano is being well taken care of. When a uh, IPOB uh, member said Kano's uh, condition now is really terrifying because once he lies down, whatever he eats comes out from his mouth. They also said one that is really scary. I can't just imagine that that when he talks, all those comes out from his intestine. You can imagine that kind of a thing. That is a very serious problem. And DSS is telling us that Nnam Dikanu is being well taken care of. Good. Kanu is sick, but he's being well taken care of. But Malami will tell you that nothing is wrong with Mazen Nnam Dikanu. And uh, if at all Kanu is sick, Nigerian government can as well take good care of him. So you see, they are just playing games, you know, with this man. They are playing game with Indigo. Not even only Mazen Nnam Dikanu. They are playing game, this federal government of Nigeria are playing game with Indigo as a whole. Now, coming back to UN, uh, UK government, if you guys can recall that there was a time, um, it was everywhere on social media, that a working group committee of obituary detention, I said this group they specializes on uh, human rights issues, and they are all scholars. They, they study Mazen Namdekanu's case and they, as well directed Nigerian government to release Namdekanu all conditionally. And they did not stop there. They gave Nigerian government six months. And then when this uh, um, direction was given, six months uh, we elapsed by December last month. Yeah. Okay. They also asked Nigerian government to pay Namdekanu. Uh, compensation. They also indicted Kenya uh, government, you know, in that matter too. 
Now the question is, with all this one now, we don't know what the Nigerian government if go they follow them too. Because before you see, they go silent. Or once once you, you go just hear them talk, they go enter inside again. What is that what is going on here? I said it right from the one that if these people hand not day for Mazin and the Kano uh, rendition, you just say it go feel happen like that. Because Kano was not with Nigerian passports. If was they then before in fact it would it would have been very difficult for them to uh, you know uh, adopt Namdikano back to Nigeria because it's not with uh, Nigerian passports but boom it happens Nigerian happens to him and is here because these people are playing pranks in this matter. Well, let me not just go uh, making conclusion. At least, this is a great news to the Biafrans. And uh, uh, Biafran are uh, uh, sympathizers and supporters. With this, the German government will now step up and do the needful by releasing Mazin Namdikano at once because he have to take care of his health. Since delegates have come, okay, they will ascertain the level of... Uh, deteriorating health and the Nigerian government we last last release him so now so the matter be be this so my people waiting again to say concerning this uk government sent delegates to nigerian dss custody to ascertain mazen namdikano's deteriorating health as president muhammad buari under pressure to release the ipop leader namdikano from dss custody Nandi Kanos, American lawyer, Bruce Femme reviews. Thank you for always listening. Mm -hmm.